Hello Aquarius, welcome to Three Crows Runes. My name is Jen. Let's do some rune readings. Today we're doing the readings for September 2023. I am using the Dreamer's Journal Tarot and the Elder Futhark on pink glass from the Blum set. So <laughs> Aquarius, let's start with a card from the Dreamer's Journal Tarot and we have Judgment. So this month you are going to be hearing and heeding a call. There is going to be something that you're going to basically know what you need to do. It's going to be calling to you and you are going to be it's going to be for you to answer this call. There is going to be something that has come up that is like, now is the time. Now is the time to do this thing, Aquarius. So, and you will hear this in no uncertain terms. So let's get some runes down to clarify. What do we need to know, Aquarius? Okay. Hmm. It doesn't mean it's going to be all at once, though. <laughs> Oh, that's neat. That was in that was in that position in an earlier reading as well. Okay. So your central issue this month is going to be all about patience. We have Ivaz, which is the yew tree rune. This has to do with patience, slow growth, slow development, step by step. And that's going to be your uh, focus this month is just to ta be taking the steps step by step. There is leading up to this we have dagas which is the call basically um just before this month starts you will basically have this blaring horn of unignorable reality <laughs> it's going to be this big revelation and everything is going to get lit up and you're going to be able to see everything it's going to fill your fill your entire field of vision and your entire hearing and it's going to be like you can't ignore this so when you're going into the new month it's going to be like we have steps to take we have <laughs> action to take this is the thing we have to do right now and so it's going to be a step-by-step -step thing it's going to basically take the month um, I mean, among other things that you're doing, which is probably one of the things that makes it difficult is like, you still have to do the other things, but this is the thing, like, this is going to be like, just before the end of the month, you're going to be like, do, do, do <laughs> time to do the thing. So what is going to help you is just basically remember your confidence. Um, we have Fehu, which is the rune of wealth and worth. It is reversed. So this is inner worth and inner wealth. So your confidence, your inner worth, your sense of inner worth. But also, I, as I read in the previous one that had this in exactly the same spot, almost the same meaning, which was basically sometimes you just have to let your ego go and just sort of like minimize that a bit so that you can get on with the things that need to be gotten on with. So that's sort of your focus this month is you know, we, there are things we have to do. And, you know, maybe you don't like to do them, but you have to do them. So sometimes you just have to say, okay, you know what, we're just going to take this time and do it. I can be, you know, what I want to be after this, but this is really important and we have to take these steps. What isn't going to help is we have Urus reversed. So Urus is the rune of the wild ox. So, and this has to do with strength and health. This may mean that you may not feel, you're worried about the strength. Like, do I have the strength to deal with this? You may not feel strong enough. You may worry that you're not strong enough. Um, you may be annoyed that you have to call upon your inner strength in order to do this. But the way that you're going to do this is if this starts to drag you down, bring yourself back up to where you remember your worth. You remember you know, your confidence, you've done this sort of thing before, probably, or not, but either even so you've done things like it, because here we are, and uh, we're doing this, you know, the steps to take. And so we just have to get on with it. So be confident, be uh, feel your worth. <laughs> and and we'll be able to get on with that. What the end of the month is going to be like is a little bit chaotic, but you will be ready for it. Uh, when things start to go a little bit like crazy weather. We have Hagalaz, the hailstorm rune. So it may be like, it's going to be something that isn't going to last forever, but by the end of the month, you will have had the time to prepare for it. So you'll be able to face this by the end of the month, basically, whatever you've been through, uh, whatever you've had to take the steps to do, you'll be able to face the, the wild weather more confidently having gone through this process of doing all the steps. So that, Aquarius, is your reading for September 23. I wish you all the best with this, and I wish you a lovely day or evening. Take care till next time. Bye.